There is no doubt that Verstappen has emerged as one of the greatest F1 drivers in contemporary times, and Martin Brundle also mentioned that his fair driving in 2022 must continue. Because giving it up could make the Dutch end up like Schumacher and Senna. Welcome to another exciting episode. Subscribe and ring the notification bell if you are just joining. And sit tight as we take you through the reason Martin Brundle hopes Max Verstappen doesn't get the same reputation as Ayrton Senna and Michael Schumacher. Martin Brundle has praised Max Verstappen's fair driving in 2022, against how he first started in Formula 1, where he used to be really aggressive on the tracks. However, Brundle has also questioned whether this new style will continue whenever the championship battle heats up. Previously, Brundle, like numerous experts, have been wary of Max Verstappen's dirty driving, claiming the style could go on to tarnish his legacy, especially after he did the same questionable defending against Mick Schumacher at the British Grand Prix this year. After last year's tension-filled battle for the world title, this season, Verstappen's fight against Charles Leclerc seems to be a lot more respectful. Racing wheel-to-wheel -wheel on more than one occasion, three times in fact at the Austrian Grand Prix alone, the two have been hard but fair in their tussles, but while Verstappen has kept it clean with Leclerc, doing so against the Red Bull ring, where he lost to the Ferrari driver, there were questions about his defending against Schumacher at Silverstone. Brundle warned the Red Bull driver that's all it takes to tarnish one's reputation, having seen both Michael Schumacher and Ayrton Senna doing just that in years gone by, Brundle wrote. Max was very fair and professional in his driving and defense in Austria. Generally, he is this year, albeit very much pushing the limits in his defense against Mick Schumacher the week before at Silverstone. I remember commenting in Jeddah last year about Michael Schumacher's, and to an extent Ayrton Senna's amazing legacies are partly diminished by some dirty driving, and that Max would do well to avoid that career reputation. It will be interesting to see how that goes if push literally comes to shove in the championship. Max calmly and skillfully leads the championship by 38 points over Charles, but that could have been so different if Ferrari had been more reliable, such as in Spain and Azerbaijan, or sharper on strategy, such as in Monaco and Britain. In the Austrian GP weekend, while Verstappen won the sprint race, Ferrari's Charles Leclerc was triumphant in the Grand Prix, closing the gap between them by 5 points. While Ferrari showing much better pace, as Verstappen's RB18 suffered with high tire degradation, Leclerc overtook his title rival on three separate occasions as the strategies played out. Verstappen was second in what could have been a Ferrari 1-2 had Carlos Sainz's engine not gone out with a bang. Brundle said, Verstappen won the sprint at an apparent canter, at the same time underlining Red Bull's dominance in recent years at their own circuit. Charles Leclerc followed him home, but with a confidence that will have them tomorrow, which perhaps only he really believed. On race day morning, Charles had a positively joyous demeanor, and he was subsequently proven to be absolutely right, albeit with a few challenges. The Ferraris of Leclerc and Carlos Sainz were simply better on their tires and much faster than Verstappen, and by some margin, allowing them to travel twice as far on their opening set of medium compound tires they could regain track position at will. So far this season, Verstappen has not lived up to his previous reputation as an aggressive driver on tracks, and perhaps this is caused by the yet heated championship battle between Red Bull and Ferrari. Brundle feels that Verstappen has more often than not taken this approach to racing during the 2022 campaign, but has questioned whether the Dutchman will be able to maintain this should the championship battle heat up. According to Red Bull team principal Christian Horner, Max Verstappen's aggressive driving style is the reason for the Dutchman's unmatched popularity. During an interview with the BBC in the United Kingdom, Horner reiterated the conversation around the 24-year-old's driving was exaggerated by his critics. He said, Max Verstappen is an aggressive driver, and his driving style has been one of the reasons he was voted the most popular driver in Formula One. You always know he's going to give 110%. I think his driving style was very mature last season, 2021. Let's not forget that others also make mistakes. There are other drivers who also do aggressive actions. But yes, Max is an aggressive driver. It's in his DNA. He always looks for the limits and learns from his own experiences or mistakes. There is no doubt in my mind about that. 
The extreme nature of the Dutchman's driving has endeared him to many while also alienating him from others. So much so that in the past, Verstappen has threatened to headbutt people when asked too many questions on his on-track incidents. In 2021, Verstappen was involved in major incidents with Lewis Hamilton on multiple occasions. From dangerous driving in Jeddah and Interlagos to crashing out in Silverstone and Monza, the battle between the two was intense and cutthroat. And going into 2022, he announced that he is ambitious for more. Coming fresh off his Maiden World Championship, Max Verstappen revealed his ambitious plan to keep winning races and be in the hunt for another world title in 2022. If this would have meant anything, it was that he intended to continue his aggression on the tracks, which saw him clinch the title last season against Lewis Hamilton. While other drivers and teams have condemned Verstappen's style, he's often found support from his father and team principal. Jos Verstappen mentioned the aggressive style in which Max Verstappen drove during the Spanish Grand Prix has brought him a lot. Max Verstappen was criticized for his outbursts during his DRS troubles in Barcelona, as he was heard shouting, we can't even make the fucking DSR work, unbelievable, down the team radio. His boss, Christian Horner, described it as road rage, but did say it was understandable given Verstappen said he pushed the DRS button 50 times during one straight with no joy. Max's father, Jos, has defended his son and pointed towards the fact that an aggressive approach has been key to the success of the Red Bull driver's career to date. He said, It was extremely hot. That makes it difficult for a driver to manage his tires, and then Max has problems with the DRS system that didn't work. You could clearly hear the frustration in his voice, and I could also see that it was the way he drove. Then he drives a bit more aggressively, he wants more. The style of driving has brought him a lot in the past. The senior Verstappen has also praised Red Bull and their ability to think on their feet when it comes to his son's strategy, he said. I have to say that I think Red Bull solved it, the lack of DRS, insanely well. They changed the strategy. The decision to put Max on the softest tire for the second time, in the third stint, gave him the chance to push. That way he grabbed his lead. I could understand his frustration at the start of the race. If things don't go his way because of a problem, he's the kind of guy who expresses his dissatisfaction. There is nothing wrong with that as far as I'm concerned. He asked the utmost from the team, but that goes both ways. That's why they are so successful together. So far, the heat between Ferrari and Red Bull is nothing compared to what happened last season with Red Bull and Mercedes. This could be the main reason why Verstappen has been less aggressive as usual. It is well known that the Dutch driver and the Ferrari Monegasque driver have been driving against each other since their karting days, and this must mean a lot to both drivers specifically. Charles Leclerc has referenced this relationship as what has been the major player in the less aggressive title challenge and simply hopes it continues this way. While Verstappen still leads the championship battle, it is well known that the Ferrari team, their principal, and both drivers are considered soft on the tracks, where they simply let go of whatever danger or harm that seems to come their way. Verstappen, on the other hand, isn't someone that backs down, likewise his team principal. The difference between both title contenders this season is clear, and it has somehow influenced Red Bull and their Dutch drivers' approach to racing. While Verstappen can choose to throttle hard however he wants, there is no doubt that Ferraris are much faster this season, which only means that Red Bull are only ahead on brilliant strategic calls that Ferrari has not been able to utilize. If you enjoyed the video, like and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other amazing videos in our log.